Hey guys, so today I'm just going to be filming a fall look for you guys and um, yeah, I love it. I just can't believe it came out this good and um, I hope you guys enjoy so let's get so right into the video. So first I'm going to be starting out with Max Brown Script Eyeshadow and I'm just going to be putting that into my crease. As you guys can probably tell, this has been my favorite eyeshadow and don't worry about this. This is just something I'm trying to do for this coloration. I'm going to see if it works because I've seen people do this. I know exactly how the right shade to cover but I hope that doesn't show when I put on my foundation. But yeah. So I'm just going to put this into my crease. And now that I have blended Max Brown Script into my crease, I'm going into my chocolate bar semi-sweet palette and I'm going to take this shade right here which is truffle. You guys can see that right here. Right here. <laughs> So I'm just going to take that and put it right over brown script. So I switched brushes. I'm going to be taking my MAC 217 brush just because I want this to be more into the center of my crease. Does that make sense? More directly in my crease. I'm sorry. So now that I've blended truffled into my crease, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, which is Nougat, or however people pronounce it, but I'm just going to take that shade and then apply it to my lid. I'm just going to take this Milani Eyes eyeshadow in the shade Bella Copper and apply this right over Nuke, which is just on my lid. The fro is back, guys. The fro is back. The color of that last shadow wasn't as pigmented as I thought, so I'm just going to take Fix Plus and spray it on my brush just to um, brighten the color. So Now that I have applied the color to my lids, I'm just going to be taking a light coat of mascara just to prep for my lashes and then I'm going to be right back after I apply my lashes just because I feel like it'll make the video a tad bit too long, you know? You know? You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 30, correction, <laughs> in the shade 330 Toffee Caramel and I'm going to apply this as well off camera but in my last video, I do show how I apply this, so if you want to watch that, I will link it down below. But I'm just going to skip this just for the sake of time, so yeah. I'm just going to apply that, and I'm going to come right back, so. Okay, so I know I look a little weird at the moment, but it's just that I apply my um, foundation. Sorry about that, I got a little confused. But today, I'm going to be adding a new step to my face, and I'm just going to be trying out highlighting using the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Concealer in two-in-one concealer and highlight in the shade 430 medium so I'm just gonna be applying this here 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 and you'll see me do it but I'm just gonna add this to I don't know how it's gonna turn out I look but you know what we're just gonna go with the flow however it comes out you know beauty blend that I used to blend out my foundation, I'm going to blend that out and we'll see how it looks. I'm just going to 
gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, palette. I forgot what it was called. And I'm just gonna take this shade right here, which is Havana, I believe. So I'm just gonna take that down here. Right, guys I repeat use products a lot just because I like them but I'm going to be taking my MAC copper tone blush on this pixie or not pixie sorry my bad on this Luxie 405 take four just kidding but on this Luxie 504 brush I'm going to be taking this and just applying it to the top of stay matte powder and just to set where I highlight it just because I feel like it's really oily there so I'm just gonna do that and this is like the only brush I have for right next to me because I'm too lazy to get up so I'm gonna try to do that as precisely as I can But I recently got this, which is the Katmandu Lolita, and I really, really want to use it. So I'm gonna like spice it up. Like I was put on the wait list for it, but I've been wanting it like since it came out. So I finally have it, and I haven't used it yet. So I'm gonna try to use it today and incorporate it into this look. Oh, and for people wondering, yes, I did my eyebrows off camera before I even started, just because um, I felt like it would just take too long. Plus, I'm still surprised they came out this good. Look. Who is that? Is that Asia? So I'm just taking Max. Why am I lying? I'm taking NYX's Y2K lip pencil and I'm just gonna line my lips with this. How do you guys like it? Oh my gosh, you guys know what I almost forgot? Highlighter! Now we're done. We are done. 
we are done. I'm like literally so excited with how this came out. Because I literally had thought of products I wanted to use. But again, it was more like spontaneous. I just kind of went with the flow. And you know. I like it. I like it. Hey, hey. But um, okay. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys come back for more. And I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I just want to thank you for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end. Which I know about half of you that click on this video will not. And um, yeah. So um, I just want to say thanks for watching my video again. And um, have a good day. And I sound like the lady at the store. Have a good day. <laughs> I suck at ending and starting my video. Bye guys.